Good morning. Today is Saturday of 29th week in ordinary time. And our Mass Presider is Reverend Father Alexander Balatbat. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery, let us pause for a moment and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. God, our Creator, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. God, our Savior, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. God, our destiny, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May all loving God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who for the evangelization of peoples strengthened the Bishop St. Anthony Mary Claret with admirable charity and long-suffering, grant through his intercession that seeking the things that are yours, we may earnestly devote ourselves to winning our brothers and sisters for Christ who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, grace was given to each of us according to the measure of Christ's gift. Therefore, it says, he ascended on high and took prisoners captive. He gave gifts to men. What does he ascended mean except that he also descended into the lower regions of the earth? The one who descended is also the one who ascended far above all the heavens that he might feel all things. And he gave some as apostles, others as prophets, others as evangelists, others as pastors and teachers, to equip the holy ones for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ, until we all attain to the unity of faith and knowledge of the Son of God, to mature manhood to the extent of the full stature of Christ, so that we may no longer be infants, tossed by waves and swept along by every wind of teaching arising from human trickery, from their cunning in the interest of deceitful scheming. Rather, living the truth in love, we should grow in every way into him who is the head, Christ, from whom the whole body, joined and held together by every supporting ligament, with the proper functioning of each part, brings about the body's growth and builds itself up in love. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
responsorial psalm. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. I rejoiced because they said to me, We will go up to the house of the Lord. And now we have set foot within your gates, O Jerusalem. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Jerusalem built as a city with compact unity. To it the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. According to the decree for Israel, to give thanks to the name of the Lord, in it are set up judgment seats, seats for the house of David. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Our reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. After John the Baptist had been arrested, Jesus came to Galilee proclaiming the gospel of God. This is the fulfillment, the time of fulfillment. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. As he passed by the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting their nets into the sea. They were fishermen. Jesus said to them, Come after me, and I will make you fishers of men. Then they abandoned their nets and followed him. He walked along a little farther and saw James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John, they too were in a boat mending their nets. Then he called them. So they left their father Zebedee in the boat along with the hard men and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today we are celebrating the feast of St. Anthony Mary Claret, Bishop. Happy Feast Day to the Claritian Fathers, the Claritian Community. In the Gospel today, Jesus was there calling people to be His disciples. He called Simon and his brother Andrew while they were casting their nets into the sea. He also called James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John. Unti-unti tinatawag niya ang kanyang mga naging alagad. The call of Jesus, God's initiative to connect Himself to us. God's initiative to establish a beautiful relationship with Jesus. Vocation is rooted in a beautiful love affair. Friendship with God is the root of vocation. For our God is a God of communion, God of solidarity, God of friendship. St. Anthony Mary Claret, when he responded to the call of God that was rooted on his experience of the love of Jesus, the love that is implanted in his heart. And because of that beautiful love affair that 
beautiful friendship, there the mission began. You cannot give what you do not have. The missionaries, what they share is the love of Jesus that they have. Kapag ang tao naramdaman niya ang pag-ibig ng Diyos, nagmamahal din siyang kamukha ng pagmamahal ng Diyos. Kapag ang tao malupit sa kapwa, nakalimutan niya ang ibig sabihin ng pagmamahal na alay ng Diyos. Mga taong nakakaalala sa pagmamahal ni Jesus, Walang ibang gagawin kundi magmahal. Magmahal ng magmahal, mag-alay ng mag-alay, kahit ang katumbas ay ang sariling buhay. And because of that love, they were able to listen to the God who initiated that beautiful relationship. Come, follow me. So they left everything and followed Him. Like the disciples, Jesus is calling each one of us by our name. Jesus is offering the kind of love He offered to the disciples. Are we also like them, living everything and following Him? Kaya nga makikita natin kapag ka ang tao nagmamahal sa kanyang kapwa-tao, anong sinasabi? Nakikita ko ang Diyos sa iyo. Amen. For every prayer, our response, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That our church leaders may inspire us to a more fervent devotion to Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That our community may bear the fruits of prayer and penance. and face the judgment seat of God with sincere and humble hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may bring warmth to those whose hearts are empty and cold, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who suffer may have the strength to reach out for the Lord who is always near, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. that the dead may see the face of Jesus and remain in His presence forever. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In a very special way, we offer, we, connect, we unite ourselves in prayer for the special intentions of Teddy and Fabi Tumang, Freddy and Noemi Aguilar, Mike and Julie Defensor, Benny Antiporda, Hermie Esguera, Red and Portia Cruz, Ricky and Maridu Rosario, Stephen and Lani David, Mar and Neng Santos, Abel and Josdada Pangilinan, Hill and Annie Haveliana, Carmelita de Mesa, Tony and Charito Santos, Roan Santos. We also pray for all the souls in Purgatory, especially Rafael Elisaga, Ray Padiernos, Anselmo Balatbat, Vio and Marina Cho, Juan Francisco Cruz, Benny de Mesa, Benjo de Mesa, Catalina Torla Modesta Pangan, Father Nomer de Lumen, Father Larry Faraon, Father Sani Ramirez, Father Fernando Suarez, 
Father Joel Victorino, Father Rico Hilario, Father Larry Paz. All this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Pray, sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be made acceptable to God, the all-loving Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept this sacrifice from your people, we pray, O Lord, and make what is offered for your glory in honor of blessed Anthony Claret, a means to our eternal salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For us on the festival of St. Anthony Claret, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthened her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mm -hmm. 
Mysterium Fidei, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Francisco, our Bishop, Noli, his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of the church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the peace of Jesus. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, 
you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. <clears throat> Let us pray. Replenish by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we pray, O Lord our God, that what we celebrate with loving devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now in the hour of our death. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on immaculate us. Immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. We pray the rosary every day for the peace in our country and the whole world. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May all loving God bless you the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God loves you. Mama Mary loves you. Our celebration is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Father Alex Balatbat, I was assigned by our bishop here as the administrator of the Our Lady of Antipolo Retreat House. The Our Lady of Antipolo Retreat House is located inside the St. Michael compound, St. Michael Retreat House. 
San Jose Extension, San Isidro Antipolosi. Strength for all.